Hey G Squad, welcome back to another episode of Is It Worth It? So today's episode we have this cool amazing product here in my hand. If you can see basically what it is, the portable electric heater. And basically I can use this when it's like really cold or whatever to keep you guys a little bit more warm or just heat you guys up. So first thing first, I'm actually open up the product first to show you guys what is provided inside. So when you guys first open the package itself, they have a little protection layer right here. And then you guys can see the actual product itself inside. And they also do provide us a little user manual instruction guide to teach you guys how to use it. So let's take a look at the actual product itself right here. So the product that I have right here is the um, portable oscillating uh, electric heater that's in use to keep yourself warm in like the winter time or if it's cold where you guys are living. So if you turn on the top part, you can see that it has options right here. So there's on and off, there's a mode button, and there's a swinging mode option right here. On the bottom, they do have this little protection thing right here. So the product itself tilt for any reason, and this part is not pushed down anymore, then the fan turns off by itself. So that's a really cool safety feature about this part right here. And the one that I have right here has a very nice little handle part that you can actually use to like grip it or whatever. If you guys want to bring it wherever you guys want to. And this is actually really cool because when the heater itself is really hot, you guys don't want to touch the heater. So it's really nice to have that option right here. And then here's the little plug outlet that you can use to plug it into the outlet to power it up. So that's basically everything that's on the product itself. Let me actually go through a quick test of the product to show you guys how it works and everything. And then we'll come back and talk more about the product in a second. All right, so we got the product all plugged in and everything. You guys see right here. Let's turn it on first. And then we're turning it around right here. And then we we'll press the on button right here. And then here it is on. So the moment we turn it on, you guys can definitely feel like the little hot or warm air already instantly. Let's turn on the swinging mode. Alright, so you can see that it's turning left and right. So what we have right now is on the low temperature, but we tap it one time. It turns on to the high temperature. And we tap it one more time. This one turns into a fan mode. So this one doesn't have as much heat. This one is more of a fan, so it's like a regular fan that you guys can use, which is pretty cool. So basically you guys get like a low temperature, a high temperature, and a fan mode, which is pretty cool. And once the product like tilts or whatever, just like how I mentioned earlier, it actually will turn off, so just like this. So once it tilts, it turns off. But once you go back to the actual position, everything you guys can turn it back on. So that's really cool. Alright, welcome back guys. So now you guys saw the quick test of the product itself. You guys can see it actually does work and it works quite well. Really easy to use all of the touch controls and everything. I definitely love the bottom part of the protection so that if it tips over for any reason, the product itself will turn off really easily. So that way you guys don't have to worry about any like overheating or whatever of the product itself or if it actually burned the surface on the ground or whatever just because it's still on. Because the product itself does turn off once this part goes off like that. And one thing that I forgot to mention is the back part here for the filter. You guys can actually open this part up to remove it if you guys need to, which is pretty cool. But now that we did a quick unboxing and testing of the product itself, now to answer the question of whether or not it's actually worth it or not. So for me, honestly, I think this is actually pretty worth it if you guys want one or need one of these, especially since like winter is coming up soon, or if you guys are just living somewhere in general that is already cold as is, then this is actually really nice to get. But then obviously for those guys who don't want or don't need one or have one of these, then obviously don't buy one and save your money for something else to actually do need. But other than that, that's pretty much it for the quick unboxing and testing of the product itself. Hope you guys enjoyed this video. If you guys did, then make sure to subscribe, like, and comment down below. And if you guys like this video and you guys want to see more, then make sure to click on that notification in the bottom to be notified of new videos that will be coming up in the future. But as always, make sure to stay positive, be you, and I'll see you guys in the next episode of Is It Worth It? Peace. And then for today's G Squad fan shout day, we have... 